explaining how we removed the panels, the walls here, and the way they come out. So the windows are actually held in by a couple of screws, which you can see that you can see better on this side. You can see there's a screw there, screw there, screw there, and a screw there. And that holds the window in place. But in order to remove this panel, these panels all along the bus, we thought it'd be a good idea to take it apart. So the window has to come out and then this piece has to come off, at least up to here. And once that's up, you can see this is underneath it. So then this comes off for the entire length of the bus. And so we did that for the whole passenger side of the bus and it took a really long time and it was unnecessary. Our goal was to take them out so that way we could clean this, clean the seal, redo the caulking, but also have this up. And the way that those metal walls actually went in the bus was they go in in layers like one on top of the other on top of the other on top of the other the problem is this piece that comes off actually the metal piece goes over it like this and then this piece goes on top of that um, now the problem we're left with is there's a scap. So what we did on this side of the bus was actually leave it alone and that not only saved us time but you can see here I just cut the wall out so now there is no gap in between so lesson learned. to cut out the wall.